things don't work, why is it okay to be okay about it? We seem to have all the tools. We have the social managerial tools, we have the technical tools, we have the medical tools. Why doesn't health become better for the poor? It's a very uh, basic question which made us really think what is not there out there which will make it better and what is out there which is going to uh, make a difference. I think that's where Swasti was born. One of our studies which was done many years ago and which has been uh, published in the PLOS was actually about looking at uh, HIV prevalence and saying whether there is an impact of uh, the peer educated interaction, right? Because we, we wanted to see if, um, you know, mo most of our programs for example are mandated to have so many visits and we mm. always focus on visits, right? Yeah. And we say does it really make a difference to have so many visits or not? Uh, and what is, is there a difference, right? So that particular study actually went into, uh, and we used data that was we already had to actually analyze and say who was getting how many interactions and whether there was any difference. We saw that those who did have two or more interactions were coming in to seek services uh, much faster. Social impact, it's become now the flavor of the year. Impact, social impact. What does it mean to you, social impact, really? Social impact, uh, to me, uh, it's about um, what is the effect of uh, any organization's activity on the well-being of the community or the society in general. Um, any activity, it could be a corporate which is uh, doing a mining or a corporate which is selling a product or an NGO working in a particular space. Is that uh, what kind of these uh, effect which that organization's activity on the well-being of the particular community or the society in general. And we never really thought putting people at the centre would be so difficult. And that for me is such a strange thing because isn't, aren't systems meant to be for people? Yeah, th that's an interesting part, right? I mean, actually that is where Swasti's work at one level is very simple, right? It's not so complicated. It is firmly placing people at the centre and understanding their problems. And it's a, a great point to make. Let's, let's take what we looked at in HIV, right? And what did we learn? Uh, even though it's a disease, uh, or a condition rather, uh, not even a disease, when we went in there and we sat with the communities who were affected and actually respected them and spoke to them, not talked down to them, we realized for them HIV was only an outcome. It was actually the power imbalance, it was the discrimination, it was the stigma. So life skills training as an approach to achieving better health that's been quite an uh, eye-opening uh, strategy, hasn't it? Yeah, in fact, uh, uh, some of our interventions using life skill uh, has been studied uh, by Tufts University using a randomized control trial, and uh, we have incredible results uh, from these studies. Uh, we have seen, uh, because of the program, uh, the productivity of the workers improving. There's a reduced absenteeism, all because you know, people change their behavior uh, because of the influence of these life skills programs. So, as a founder of um, Swasti Raghu, I think the way Swasti was born, it was incubated by Catalyst Management. And then Swasti pays it forward by incubating various organizations. This, this incubation is a very, um, to me, a very different way of creating uh, social impact. Can you speak to that? How that? Uh... So, uh, at what we do in the in the incubation is also about uh, uh, about this organizations which is willing to take this uh, stretch of working through four things, which I keep talking about in terms of framework. Is that if we want to make change in the particular vulnerable community, I think key is that uh, uh, you have the strength of the community itself. Uh, which is that the community themselves can do many things if they come together. So can we leverage the strength of the communities? And uh, the second big thing is what is sustainable is the efficiency of the market. Right? It's not that everything can be done by the communities themselves or by other systems, but market system is extremely efficient. If people want a good uh, quality credit, good quality savings, a market uh, opportunity can, the efficient market is very efficient. Works through a demand supply approach and then uh, pricing is always uh, reasonable. But then given the vulnerability context, that's not sufficient. Then there is a disaster market leaves people. So therefore, you require the power of the state. And then you also need to bring these three, thing, uh, three systems together. 
is somebody like a facilitator who's reach of the facilitator